nah, nah. Had to keep working on me Till I got it right, right, right This whole key looking at me Now I got it right, Everybody, right, Everybody, welcome right, back right. to the channel Today we're here with a brand new unboxing This is legit, up to this point of filming This is the most expensive unboxing we're ever gonna ever have ever done i don't know about ever gonna do because you know i ain't gonna say never say never but this is by far one of the most expensive we got big ass bear bricks we got art we got collectibles we got figures we got shoes we got bot orders we got a lot a lot of this stuff a lot of stuff i'm super super hyped for and first up we're just gonna get right into it of course you guys do know None of this would be possible without the premium group at Time Boy TV Plus. We got info, everything you see in here was caught due to them. So, first up, we got a 9.5 mid, okay? We'll take that. It's a band mid. You know, I just made a video on these the other day. These are the Journal 1 band mids. A lot, a lot of potential in these once again. I don't think we caught too many of these for this video specifically. We did get a bunch before, and honestly, we got, we got a shit ton of pairs. We got a little too many pairs we know what to do with. We gotta move some stuff around. So let's get into the first little fragile pack over here. Not sure what this could be. We also have a few surprise packages. Um, some shit that I didn't even order got sent to me. Let's see what this is. This is from Bape. So this is gonna be a nice little... Oh yes, this is the Bape. Let's show you guys real quick what this is about. This is the Bape New York figure. So you guys can see this is in the Bape Store Madison Ave Grand Opening. They did like a special collectible. Very, very low key. They barely post about it and it's actually pretty, pretty heavy. Uh, this is like the Statue of Liberty ape figure right over here. I think it's really dope, really cool. Definitely gonna just put it on my shelf and stare at it. Uh, and probably will appreciate a little bit, nothing too crazy. This is more of just something I'm addicted to and I just like to buy stuff shit like that sometimes. Um, next we go into a bigger pack. I'm assuming these are gonna be the undefeated Air Maxes. Just because of the fact is, yeah, they are. And do we have the... Oh, oh! Bro, we placed two orders. We got two orders of these Air Maxes, correct? Two orders. And none of them came with the toy. Literally none of them came with the toy. The only reason why I bought these was for the toy. I don't know if they're supposed to be in the box. They're not there. They're literally not anywhere, dude. We, These are bricks. They're terrible, terrible bricks. And for some reason, the luck of the draw, they got no toy with them. You guys can see this at Air Max 97s. You guys already saw them last time. Uh, this We got a size 9 set and a size 11 set. What am I doing with them personally? At this point, I'm going to just hold on to them for the time being. I mean, I don't know what else to do with them. I ain't going to sell for less than retail. That's a fact. Um, here we go. And it is a bit chilly. Yeah, we got a little bit of a thicker jacket than usual. Uh, here's another fire investment call. I actually made myself on some Pokemon cards. This is the Sword and Shield. Damn, this is some heavy shit right here. Heavy, heavy shit. This is the Sword and Shield box of sorts. No, one, but we got two. We actually caught these for retail as a pre-order very, very early. I want to say about three months ago we actually ordered this, so it's finally in here. And uh, is it worth some money? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, that's one of them. And then we got the other one right over here as well. Bubble wrapped and all. We didn't get it from like a big, really big box retailer. We got it from like a small retailer. You guys can see Sword and Shield all up on there. We'll put that to the side. Finally got that. What do I do with those? Hold on to those as well, to tell you the truth. Because if you guys remember the, Jir the Jirachi. Oh, hold up. Take a pause. These are Stussy Air Force ones. I thought we were done with them. I think it's our fourth men's pair. We got a black size 12. This is size... Yeah, this is size 12, baby. I think we actually paid retail for these from another reseller, believe it or not. I was like, yo, you selling this for retail? I can't fit a size 10 and a half. That's the biggest size that I have, so let's try to size 12. So we'll try to fit these, and they're actually drawing a, dropping the hand-dyed versions this Friday. So if you guys are watching it before Friday, January... January 28th, I think I want to know. 20, no, 30th, 31st. Uh, that's when they're going to be dropping the uh, thing on Stussy.com. Hand dyed, legit, legit items though. Buy Stussy on Stussy's website. Uh, here we go into a Jordan 1, the first Jordan 1 release of the year, I want to say. I think it is. It is the Air Jordan 1 vaults. First time seeing these in hand because once again we left out of the country when these dropped. The backing is really, really weird. It has like a weird styrofoam feel. I'm a huge, huge hater of this reverse tag. I absolutely despise it. But the overall color rate is not bad. Once again, just take away that bolt, take away that ugly tongue, and you got a $500 Jordan 1 in a year or so. Uh, but either way, I'm still holding them. I actually paid resale on a few pairs uh, just because we didn't get as many as we originally wanted to. Uh, so we ended up buying some as a quick little investment, nothing too wild. And I think this is them right there. Oh, we actually picked these off of somebody from the group too, believe it or not. This is uh, should be size 9s, both size 9s. Uh, let's take a gander. 
Yeah, right there. You guys can see another pack of the Air Jordan 1 Volt size 9. Where do I see prices going? I'm going to say give it a few months. It's obviously not doing great. One of the last few Jordan 1 releases haven't been too crazy. Or not as crazy at least to what we're used to. Uh, like, for example, the metallic black golds, not doing great at all. Volt's not really doing too great. GS sizes, always, always buy. And if you want to invest in anything, my best recommendation is uh, GS sizes at all times. But right here we go into a few more investments. We actually did buy some stuff on eBay with their new authentication program. So we're going to see what this is. These are the Air Jordan, Air Jordan 4 Fire Red GS. And these actually have skyrocketed in value a ton. Remember I told people, buy these, sit on them, don't look at them, hold them for a very, very long time. As you can see, these are the Fire Red 4s. Mints have gone up too. Uh, we actually copped some yesterday on Shoe Palace's restock. So it'll be interesting to see when they actually do end up coming in. And um, yeah, I mean, I just say, keep holding them for as long as you possibly can. It's an OG Jordan. That's a lot of demand for it. And this is actually, uh, a piece of art, a relic, I should say. A uh, very big hyped up relic. And it is, we already unboxed it a little bit, so I'm not going to go too crazy for it because we already had our, our, our craziness happen. This is the Daniel Arsham. But if you guys didn't see that Resellers Corner, by the way, Resellers Corner is where I drop my weekly live cops. This is a Daniel Arsham Pokemon figure. Not figure, but more like card. So if you take, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing right now. But you got it. the way it works is you got to basically slide it out. It has like two little slits on it. You slide out the gloves right here. Then you actually slide out the actual piece of work. And uh, it's in here. I don't want to take it out because we already took it out once and we kind of regretted it. Um, it smells really bad. It smells a little bit weird, like some chemicals going on. Uh, so I'm not the biggest fan of probably putting it out for decoration, but definitely going to be something I'm just going to hold on to for a long time. All right, next up, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on to some more packs. We're going to reorganize a bit. And this is, oh, that one's giving me some difficulty. Yes, a new knife is on the way. I know a lot of people are saying it's, you need to get a better knife. And I don't know what this is. This might be Jordan 4. Oh, yes, 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 yes. These are the Air Jordan 4 Starfish Women's. We were so bored. January was such a slow month. We ended up copping a few of these uh, just to test out our setup and all that. That tongue is disgusting. It's super, super thin. My first look. Um, not, not of a great vibe. I mean, prices dropped on these a considerable amount, but you know, every Jordan 4 does go up. Will that one take a lot of time? Absolutely. A little too much time, in my opinion. I'm probably going to end up starting to sell some of those probably right after, after we're done with this video. Um, next up, we go to another eBay order, believe it or not. We got some more Jordan 4 GS Fire Reds. Uh, you guys can see right there. Actually, this is what the authentication program looks like. So you guys got the eBay tag right there. And the actual shoes come with a nice little eBay tag, like StockX. Uh, a lot of other people are starting to adapt to this. They got their own little authentication tag to make sure it's 100% verified. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see how that goes. I um, might end up trying to sell more stuff to the authentication program, but I know you have to have like a certain amount of sales. You have to be certain, uh, you have to be like a certain threshold of products. Uh, then we go to another more fragile pack. <laughs> this is based on the packaging this is gonna be the second cause BFF we got of all time uh, not of all time but at least from the black we got two of these exactly so this is a cause BFF this is the black edition he stands at about a foot and like a quarter I would say maybe a little bit just about a foot uh, definitely really cool I'm gonna keep this 100% dead stock though since we do have one of them that we unboxed the other day and we actually did end up keeping now this is a package I have no idea what this could be um, oh, I do actually know what it is. And just from a retail I never bought from. So, I guess big ups to City Sports. Oh, uh, our monitor ended up catching this retailer for the Jordan once, and they were kind of like quote unquote sitting. I only managed to get one though, but one is better than none. We ended up paying like $10 shipping, so that kind of hurts me. But luckily, in New Jersey, we pay no tax, so another pair of the Volts right there. I think that makes about four or so pairs. Now, how much am I paying for the Volts? Man, I'm really sticking to $200. I bought a few at that price range, and I'm not really going to go up. Then I think that's also a little bit too generous. Hey, yo, Nash. You open up real quick and you guys can see red tissue paper and this is a tear away Jordan 5 low. Um, I'm pretty much just breaking even on them. It pretty much tears away all this. This is all cannabis material. It's all like you cut it out with a razor blade and it all goes away and it reveals a new print. Uh, what am I doing with them? Quick selling the shit out of these. Definitely not even considering holding them. The reason why I bought them once again is to build up points and activity on my foot site account. 
we caught that manually. That wasn't that difficult at all. And the reason why that is, is we got a ton of manual releases coming up that we need to get our accounts up a bit. Oh, oh, don't say ladies and gent, what the hell is this? All right, all right, well, here we go. You guys can tell what it is probably. This is the Pape and Chinese New Year's Air Brick. This is a two 400%. It looks like it was already open, so I'm not gonna be too worried about opening it already. But damn, baby, here we go. This is the packaging, it's in like that. All right, continuing on, you guys can see right here, here's the 100, this is the 400% red guy, and this is the 400% white guy. So just like that, you guys can see the bait print all over them, Chinese graphics on them as well. Right now, I think they cost me just about 350 US dollars, and they're going for like 450, so 475, so good profit. Personally, myself, I'm not a fan of them, but so I'm gonna just end up quick selling them for the most part, and uh, not gonna really be keeping them for the collection. Get really that much at all, if I'd have to say, of a more eBay tag, another pair of the Jordan 4, Fire Edge, yes, as you can see, we got a lot, a lot of faith in those, and I just see them consistently, consistently going up. Oh, uh, you're not finding them anymore. Even on restocks, I don't know if any stores that be restocking them like that, there really isn't that much going on. Uh, here we go into another one, looks like to be a Journal 1 Volt. Baby, if I hit your phone, is you picking up, baby? Tell me what you want. Never get no fuss, baby, I was all alone, so I wrote the shit. Mid, possibly. Let's see what this is. I thought we were done with mids for the most part. And this is, oh, okay. I guess we got another one. This is a size 8. Great colorway. Always going to go up. It's a very in-demand colorway. Quality on them is actually really, really nice for a journal one mid. Tumble leather on this on the toe box and the sides. You cannot go wrong with these at all. This is one of the big packs. We got three ginormous packs in this video. Um, all right, here we go. This is one I'm really, really excited for. Just because this is the first time I actually ordered from Cause and they sent me a ginormous, one of those elusive ginormous boxes, meaning you placed a multi cart order. Oh my god, it's a box inside of a box, just like that. Oh. And here we go. I'm just going to take it out. It's too hard to show you what's exactly in here. But we got this is huge, bro. Look at my head and look at the box. You know what I'm saying? It's absolutely ginormous. So we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to take this guy right here and put him to the side. And unfortunately, it looks like, yeah, that's about it. Just more bubble wrap and all that. So we're going to throw this. Sorry, mother. Um, <laughs> then we go on to these. These are the two cause bear bricks right here. I want to, not bear bricks, I should say, but uh, two cause pieces. I do want to just open at least one of them. I do want to give you guys a look at what they look like. Um, these are the Nate Robinsons. These are the 2020 version of what happened that year. Cause interpretation of that year. Bro, these are huge. Yo, what? I thought they were little like 12 inch figures, bro. What? These are huge, bro. It's like a little baby right here. It's like a, it's like a between a 400% and 100,000% bear brick. And this is, you know, that classic cause color. Although I'm not the biggest fan of the actual thing, just because it's so flat. And like, this is cool and all, but like, I don't know how I feel about it too much. You can see the cause on it right there. You got the OG classic colors on him. Wow, I'm absolutely amazed by how that big it was. It was a little bit more expensive as well, so I was like, damn, either like he's just trying to make some money or something's happening. If you missed out on it though, don't be too upset. Uh, they'll be dropping more. They only got like half their shipments, so luckily took a W, maybe we'll be able to complete the set. But they only dropped like half of their shipments because the rest of it was delayed because of COVID and all that. So I'd say watch his page if you're not in Time Boy TV Plus, you know what I'm saying? And uh, watch out for when he says he's gonna be restocking them because they're actually going for some decent money. Last time I looked, they're like 550. Probably dropped by now because that's just what happens to the art and collectibles. But without a doubt, well worth it to buy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got a few more pieces. Actually got me really excited, really hyped. Uh-oh, we got something wrapped. I see, oh, dude, I know what this is. I'm telling you, this is it. This is a boxing is special for those that like collectibles and shit like that. Not too many sneakers. I mean, this is a sneaker. Look at this beautiful item. Look at what we got. So if you didn't know, Strange Love actually did like a restock of their, they said it was just going to be their t-shirts and I'm restocking their toys, their shoes and all that. I told the group, watch for the restock. We had a specific monitor set up just for it. Look at this. We got the toy. We actually ended up paying resale for this one just because we were on vacation when it happened. Uh, but it is what it is. We bought it off a member. I think we did a great deal. We got the figure in here, which is what I was looking for so hard. We actually got the tags in here. So this is the real F and F packaging. And we got that uh, sticker right over here. Oh, that guy got felt on him. This sticker got like felt. 
That's beautiful, baby. That's beautiful. Um, that's a, this is a size too wide, though. Not a men's pair. You see, very, very small. Very, very cute uh, for the female or for the child for of yours or whoever. I'm trying to sell them. I don't think I'll be keeping these. But the only thing I'll be keeping out of this packaging is the toy. Uh, that's all. Everything else is for sale. So if anyone really, really wants a size too wide, box is in pristine condition right here. You let me know, and we can work out a deal if you are severely, severely interested. I'm gonna call my lawyer, and I got from my dad. Oh, geez, couldn't save me. I'm living too fast. Grew it up out of soil. I was chasing the bag. One shot, two shots, anything for some gas. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We figured it out. Some part we figured it out. And this is that something's off, off white book. Luckily, did it fully damn. We ripped the packaging a little bit, the plastic. But this is the off white book. So, I guess we touched that thing off white for retail. We can say for once. Actually, not for once, but a few times. I think I'm going to be opening this up. So, probably for some decoration. I'm not really into like reselling books. I mean, there's a huge market for reselling books out there, but me, not so much. Uh, looks like next up, we do go on to, believe it or not, we got a, oh, what is this? This is not a Jordan 4. This is, I also don't know what the fuck this is. The shit just show up at my house, bro? Like, what? It has no wrapping paper in it, nothing. I don't know what this is, bro. I don't know what that is. Okay, we getting free shoes or someone really just scammed the shit out of us. So I guess we got some embroidered ass Chinese looking New Year Air Force one. Alright, down to the wire. In terms of shoes at least. Yeah, alright, so this is the last. This is one of the two well, this is two of two. Chinese five New Year's already saw them, so we're not gonna open them. But another collect we know we've been getting we've been going hard on the collectibles, me personally as well as Few people, I know a lot of people sometimes don't like to do collectibles, they like to stay with what's safe, which is sneakers for the most part. Uh, but I really try to get as many people in the group as possible into different, uh, different just like stuff, you know, that makes money at the same time. So this is what I think, I'm going to be delicate, I sometimes get too excited and too nervous, but uh, here we go, I think I'm going to take this out, well I'm definitely going to take it out really delicately. It's a gun, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's not, it's not, but here we go, this is a very, let's make sure. This is huge, bro. This is one of 100, I think, if I'm not mistaken. We got a certificate of authentic authenticity. Oh, uh, bro, this is going to be a pain in the ass. This is from Greg Mike. Bro, this is going to be a pain in the ass to put back together. But, oh my goodness. I did want to frame it. I think it's sick, to tell you the truth. I think it's super, super sick. This is some Greg and Mike Goofy. This is number 30 out of 90, actually, believe it or not. My man's laughing. <laughs> He's saying this is disgusting. I'm honestly a fan. I like it. It's signed by him, numbered by him. Definitely not one of the more, definitely not one of the more iconic pieces, but sold out pretty quick. I'm assuming there's a market for it. Oh, well, there is for sure. But now we're going to get into what I was really hoping for, which is the bear. We're going to change atmospheres, change the scenery. It was going to be too much. Here we got a cool little, not really little, but a cool deck. Uh, that eh, might go for some money, maybe not. It's more like once again, uh, uh, just a cool little display piece. Actually, there was some sales for like 150 on eBay. Uh, I paid legend icon right here. I paid 80 for these. I think if I'm not mistaken. Cool little flip. Very very limited pieces. Um, but yeah, very very cool. I don't want to always have Supreme decks all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's getting a bit old. Some sometimes, you now most of the time, it's getting a bit old with Supreme. But here we go. As you can see, came from overseas, got delayed a lot. Ah, oh, damn, we just ruined the box already. We want to keep these somewhat pristine. Not, nah, well, there we go again. It is very difficult to keep these pristine, but it is a bare brick 1000% real quick. Let's open up the other one real, real quick. Uh, they came from two different places. One of them is a little bit more expensive than the other. As you can see, my man Basquiat. I don't know which one this is, but here we are. Real quick, we're going to put down the knife, use our head for a little bit. I'm gonna call my lawyer, and I got from my dad. Oh, geez, couldn't save me. I'm living too fast. Go it up out of soil. All right, y'all, so we're back on the iPhone real quick just because the fact is it cut out. But as I was saying, this shit resells for just around sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars Prices dropped a lot because they were they did drop um, on a certain app, and that app did have a good amount of stock. Actually, mo more stock than the actual retailer themselves. Um, but yeah, yo, it comes to the whole little, it lights up the heart and all that, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to unbox the full thing. It's a little bit cold out here. We are going to get this guy out here one way or another. Here we go. We're going to slide it down. As you can see, they're very, very big. Just like that. We want to keep that box in good condition somewhat. And here we go. 
Ho! Now, I know the highest sale on eBay and StockX was just around 2500 So, it's very, very interesting to see this. You can see the heart on the inside actually glows up. Very, very cool. Um, super sick. Probably one of my fa more favorite, just because it's a little bit more interactive than just a statue standing there. Um, now, this is going to take a while. We're going to slide this guy out. And this is the one and only Michael Basquiat number six, I think. I think this is number six. Uh, they have different iterations of it. This is the 100% once again, Basquiat. Um, yeah, we're going to unbox this guy. So that one's definitely the coolest, as I was saying, just because it's much more interactive. Uh, we're going to take down this. Well, it's a hard to do this as a one-man show right now, you know what I'm saying? But real quick, we're going to try to unbox it carefully. There we go. No manual with this. Of course, no cables either. We're going to let gravity do its thing once again slide it out I'm, I'm not sure what this one looks like to tell you the truth i kind of forgot because the, once again the way that this works you got to place fat 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 pre-orders oh all right you're you're a idiot ip all right to my man that's right he's good no damage no damage just bent his leg which is it's supposed to do so yeah this is the Michael Basquiat. I actually forgot I ordered that one, tell you the truth. It was such a long time ago. But yeah, these are the two barrel bricks. I, I buy them on average like $1,100 a piece. That's so funny, bro. Did I snap something? You really just broke it. Yeah, I know. I might have broke I don't know. I don't know. Okay, don't come at me. It is what it is. We'll figure it out one way or another. But yeah, that's about it. Our most expensive unboxing might have been really long. I apologize. I don't like to make super long videos. But you know, what can we do out here? So hope you guys enjoyed. Bro, I think it's unique. Not a lot of people are doing this, so I know. Try to be a little bit different. Uh, so I'll catch you guys on the next one.